Hey there, this is a tutorial for how to do a bump offset background. So I had a question for how to create fake parallax on a background plane. So this is the end result here and we've got foreground geometry and then as we move from side to side you can see that there's the what looks like foreground and then far background and you could use multiple you could do multiple layers of this. You could have these mountains and then you could even have these sort of extreme mountains in the background. You could have it masked, um, but I just kept it simple for this example. So we'll build this out really quickly. So here are the two images that we will use. The foreground image has an alpha channel. So we'll be plugging that in and then there's the background image. All right, so we will just, we'll just right click, create a material call this M underscore parallax two or three, I don't know. And we'll double click, open that up. We will take those two textures and just drag them in. So I'm shift clicking and dragging them in. Now I'm going to connect these and I'm gonna use a linear interpolate node. So I'm gonna hold down the L key and click. And then we're going to take the so this is, this is the foreground. I usually put the foreground on top. And this, uh, the shader itself is going to be unlit. So I don't want any light affecting the material itself. So I'm going to turn the shading model to unlit. That's where we'll start. Um, also, in terms of viewing this, I'm mean, viewing it on a texture sphere isn't gonna be as helpful for this example, so I will uh, set this to a preview plane. So then we'll just plug this into the emissive and then we will plug this. Well, we can plug the RGB in first. I, you need to plug the um, the RGB into, um, into B and then we will plug this into the alpha which creates a, you know, it confirms the mask that we've created and then we're going to plug this into A. So now we've got, we've got this uh, composite and it's just a composite right now. So how do we make it so that it seems like the foreground moves um, with faster than we go, when we go side to side? And that's with the bump offset node. So there's other, there are actually parallax shaders and that's a whole other ball of wax. And then there's even new techniques um, which we'll try to go over in another tutorial, but I'm just going to type bump offset. There it is. And I'm going to plug this into the UVs. Now, for this example, I only need the foreground to move, but if we had multiple layers, we'd plug this in and set different values on the height channel. So I'm going to modify the height channel with a scalar parameter node. I'm gonna hold down the S key and click. We'll just call this offset and just plug this in. I'm gonna set it to like the value of two for the one that I built it seemed to work nicely. So there you go. And you can already see it's it's offsetting. Just even in the in the preview example, you can it almost feels even when we just we can't go left to right, but you can feel the offset. And then you just make sure you hit apply. And that's the that's how you do the example um, in terms of uh, plugging in, uh, making a layered bump offset. So that's how you do it. If you like the tutorial, give it a like, and make sure you tune in for more Unreal content.